All right guys, so it is time for my January favorites. I have not done a favorites video in forever, but I have lots of stuff that I really enjoyed using this month and I really wanna show you guys. So here we go. So I wash my hair every other day just because I take a shower usually in the morning and it is such a pain to try to blow dry and style my hair right before I go to school. So I have been loving the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo just to keep my hair looking nice and refreshed and voluminous um, on the second day of not washing it or the first day of not wa of for my second day hair. It's not that my hair really gets like oily on the second day, it's more that it just gets really flat and kind of boring looking. So I really like putting this in just so that my roots get a little bit more lift and it looks a little bit more alive and happy rather than just like flat and boring hair. So on most days when I go to school, I just put on foundation and mascara and call it a day. This foundation is the perfect one for school. This is the CoverGirl At Last Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. And this is just so easy to apply. It blends really easily and it lasts the whole day. My favorite thing about this is just how natural it looks. It really, unless you like get really up close and personal with me, you can't really tell that I have foundation on and I just love that so much. The biggest reason that I wear foundation is just because my face gets so red sometimes and I don't like it when people comment on how red my face is, which people do. They will be like, hey, why is your face red? And I'll be like... Why is the sky blue? <laughs> the mascara I've been using every day is the um, Maybelline Great Lash, just classic mascara. I was using Maybelline The Rocket for such a long time, but that was a waterproof mascara, and I kind of got really sick of it not coming off when I washed my face. And I saw that my friend Trelly was using this mascara, and I remembered that I have it, so I decided to give it another go. This mascara lengthens your lashes so, so much, and I swear, it like is impossible for this to clump. Unless you are like purposely trying to clump your mascara, this mascara will not clump on you. And the only downside is that it isn't waterproof, so I do kind of get black smudges underneath my eyes throughout the day, which is my biggest pet peeve with mascara, but honestly, it just looks makes my lashes look so like long and like pretty that um, I just wipe it away and I really don't mind that much. I'm pretty sure this is the first lipstick I ever bought back in like seventh grade. So this is a old lipstick. This is NYC's lipstick in Violet Shine. I don't know if they still make this anymore, but I have started using this as my daily lipstick. Um, I just really like the color. It's a very like kind of mauve -y color, but it um, matches my natural like lip color. Well, not natural. My natural lip color is like pale, but what I would like to be my natural lip color. Definitely worth those two dollars I spent uh, babysitting money back in seventh grade. <laughs> so I'm really bad at wearing like jewelry. If that makes sense, like I'm really bad at like every day putting on a different pair of earrings or wearing a different necklace. There is one thing that I've been really good about wearing, and those are my bracelets. So I have one Alex and Ani bracelet, one um, initial bangle that I got off of Etsy, and then I have a um, Pandora slash Belk um, charm bracelet. And I have been wearing these every single day since probably Christmas because I got the Alex and Ani for Christmas and I got a bunch more charms for my bracelet um, around Christmas. And I just really like wearing these every day. I just really like wearing these, especially my charm bracelet. It just makes me so happy seeing all the charms and I know exactly who gave me what charm and that just makes me so happy. In the winter, I'm really terrible at wearing anything other than like pants. I don't wear skirts, I don't wear dresses. Today I like forced myself to wear a dress because I want to film an outfits of the week and I didn't want every outfit to be me wearing like pants. So my favorite pairs of pants this winter has first been my Abercrombie um, dark gray jeggings, I believe is what they're called. They're the perfect stretch jeggings, I think. The thing I like about these leggings are just how like thick and sturdy they are. It's not like some um, uncomfortable kind of see-through fabric. The other cool thing about these is that they have pockets in the back which can come in handy. And I just like the nice um, gray. I think it looks really cool. It's um, different than wearing black or um, denim. So these are so, 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 so comfy and I love them so, so much. The other pair of pants that I have been wearing like crazy are just my Aber, or not my Abercrombie, my American Eagle um, skinny jeans. They're skinny jeans, but they feel more like stretchy jeggings rather than like actual sturdy jeans. But that's why I like them because they're so, so comfortable. I think jeans can get really uncomfortable, but these are so comfortable. My go-to snack recently has been uh, pita chips and hummus, but I really like this hummus. Mom said this one's from Food Lion, I think. This is the Taste of Inspiration's All-Natural Roasted Red Pepper Hummus, 
and this is so good it's so creamy and delicious and it just kind of satisfies my need to eat chips and dip like I feel better eating pita chips and hummus rather than like potato chips and like onion dip. My favorite present that I got for Christmas was my Nutribullet. My parents totally um, knew that this is what I needed. Just about every day for breakfast I've been making a smoothie so I think I'm gonna do a video on just a couple of my favorite smoothie recipes because they're just so quick and easy. This thing seriously blends in like five seconds it's ready to go and my favorite thing is when I put like vegetables like spinach in this it actually blends it up and mixes it all the way so you're not left with tiny pieces it's just like gone so that's really nice. <laughs> Lastly, I have a couple of music favorites. First is the song Halo by The Pass, or no, the song is The Pass and it's by Halo. Um, I don't know, I recently found this song and I just really like like the vibe it has. It makes me kind of happy. Um, next is Left Hand Free by Alt-J just because that song is so much fun to sing along to and it just makes me like want to dance around. Um, last is Walk the Moon's new album Talking is Hard. I downloaded that the day it came out and I have not stopped listening to it since. I love them so much. They are my absolute favorite band ever. I am sure you've heard their song um, Shut Up and Dance. That is a great example of how amazing their music is. Hopefully I'll get to go see them in concert in April which would be amazing. Like that's like my dream is to see them in concert because their music just makes me so happy. Just how like upbeat it is, but it, um, their music still has a really good message to it, which is what I really like about it. And it's easy to sing along to, which I also enjoy a lot. All right, so those are all of my favorites of January. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.